KRK4 News at 12:30. June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. David Cook and Kirsten Dickens join us now with details and everything that's taking place for such an important cause. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. We appreciate you, uh, Chris, or Kirsten. Rather, I'm sorry. Talk about what um, is happening for this month. Yeah. So as you mentioned, June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and so the Alzheimer's Association is really trying to focus this month on bringing attention to the fact that we know that there is a disconnect with communication with families who have uh, loved ones or friends who are living with this horrible disease. We often know that families are the first ones to recognize memory issues or cognitive decline, but they often uh, still hesitate to have that conversation. And so we really want to encourage them to reach out and have that conversation sooner. Absolutely. And it is, it's something that's hard and it's a little bit awkward and but it's important because uh, you want to take care of it as soon as possible. How would you can, um, some suggestions on how that conversation could go, David? Sure, I, I think uh, if you start noticing some cognitive decline, some behaviors that aren't typical, um, not just normal memory loss, but really forgetting um, everyday activities, mm -hmm. forgetting certain words, uh, maybe some things that they do while they're driving. Um, try to identify someone in the family who might be the best to have that conversation and, mm -hmm. and ask open-ended questions like, how are you feeling? Um, and and really, when, when you start noticing forgetful patterns, never go on to, to the defensive or attack. Just mm -hmm. really uh, ask open-ended conversations and, and have the conversation early. Um, the earlier you can start identifying some of these problems, the, the more quick you can get to help. And uh, we're always here to support families as well. So. That's yeah. wonderful yeah. advice. What else should we be looking for in cognitive decline? Some of the other signs? Um, yeah, perfect. So, uh, maybe just a difficulty performing normal routine mm -hmm. activities uh, certainly is, is something to be aware of. Mm -hmm. um, for, for not just forgetting names, because all of us do that, right? But um, forgetting why you're doing things. If you're mm -hmm. walking to the kitchen and you've lost something, uh, that's one thing, but forgetting why you're in the kitchen in the first place mm -hmm. may be a sign of something more going on. Um, and, and again, uh, Family members who are around their loved ones, they notice those things a lot quicker. And so having those conversations earlier are very important. There are yeah. so many people at home that are going through this with a family member, and it can be extremely difficult. But you all are here to help. You offer right. services. Um, what all uh, can people expect if they get in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. So we estimate that there are nearly 60,000 Arkansans living with Alzheimer's wow. dementia. And that doesn't include their caregivers, which we estimate the number of caregivers is over 180,000 just in the state of Arkansas. Wow. And so as you can imagine, it's a really challenging issue for people to be facing. Mm -hmm. And the Alzheimer's Association is a national organization, but we're here locally in the state of Arkansas. So we have offices around the state and we serve every county in the state and we have education programs and uh, trained staff and, and a people that you can work with in person to help you at every stage in the disease. Mm -hmm. Probably one of our most valuable resources is our 24-7 helpline, which oh, wow. I know you have the number on the screen here. We have master's level clinicians on the other end that can really help you with any question or challenge that you might be facing. Uh, so, so really, we want to encourage people to reach out if they have any questions or need any level of help. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to put all this info on our website, krk.com. We'd love to have y'all back sometime. Thank you. We'd love to be here. Thank so you, important. We're back with the dial after this. Stick around. Thank you.